Dick, good morning to you. Uh, tell us, what are we in store for today? Good morning. I am, as you say, outside Windsor Castle on um, what is an extraordinarily solemn day, eight days of mourning, and today is the final farewell to a very special person, often cited as the grandfather of the nation, and that is the Duke of Edinburgh, the longest consort in uh, British uh, monarchy history. And what we are in store for is an extraordinary funeral like no other. No other, because he was like no other. He was married to the monarch for over 73 years, so it will be her final uh, farewell. We will see a funeral like no other, because, of course, we're in the midst of a global pandemic, a pandemic that has already cost over 127,000 lives here in the United Kingdom. So we will have a minute silence at uh, 3 o'clock uh, across the nation, and uh, there will be a very special funeral with nearly 800 armed forces here. But everything, as you said in your introduction, will actually take place within the grounds of Windsor Castle. The most senior royals uh, will walk behind uh, the coffin of a very specially adapted by the Duke himself, Land Rover, that will be carrying his coffin. And then it will take him to St George's chapel and there will be indeed a mass. Only 30 people, again, because those are government regulations uh, because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic and um, everyone wearing masks. So it will be quite extraordinary. The Queen will go to St George's Chapel in, in a car. She will not walk. But it will be such a sad day, particularly for her as she is now a grieving widow, but extraordinarily has already gone back to work a few days ago. So this is a, a monarch who will be saying goodbye to her much-loved husband, uh, who was her strength and her stay throughout her life, her guide, her advisor. Uh, and, of course, it will be a poignant moment for the nation who have only ever known uh, Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip, as, of course, in their life in the royal family as he was 99 years old and died just eight days ago, two months shy of his 100th birthday. So it will be a very special funeral. But many people grieving also for him and uh, across the world. Of course, it was in Africa that the Queen learnt that her father had died and that she had actually become... Uh, she had succeeded her father. And it was, in fact, Prince Philip who gave her the news. So across the world, um, many people grieving because of COVID-19. And I think it will have huge resonance here in the United Kingdom, across the Commonwealth and across the world. And we will be carrying special programmes with all those live events in all four languages on France 24.